like I said, I'm going to start screenshotting and recording the stupid argument, the stupid arguments that biased One Punch Man fans come up with when they want to deny that Saitama confirmed he took damage. I told y'all what I was going to do, and now I'm doing it. This channel used to be just putting One Punch Man haters on blast and all that good shit and proving them wrong. But y'all need to be humbled as well. Let's have a look at some of these comments. Lisa, Rising Hope, that's my fucking jam. Y'all should check it out, by the way. I blocked one comment thread in this bitch because this motherfucker started was beyond annoying. Telling me, hey, you should talk, you shouldn't talk to people that way. Oh, you must be new. <laughs> you must be new. Get out. But I screenshot all those comments, so I'll save that for last. Stupid argument one, and I'm going to tell you why. It says, it wasn't fatal damage, not even serious. It's like if your tiny weak friend hit you in the arm. Your tiny weak friend isn't going to leave a scratch. That's one thing. Cosmic Garo literally copied Saitama's stats and gave him a his own taste of his own medicine. That's another thing. So you compare in a motherfucker who can literally just copy your stacks to your tiny weak friend hitting you in the arm is a beyond stupid ass fucking argument. Oof. It's so fucking stupid. It's not the equivalent same. It wasn't fatal damage. Not even serious. But you're admitting he took damage. So if you are arguing with somebody who wanted to sit here and sit, prove that Saitama took damage, you literally just conceded. You literally just conceded. Let's take a look at something else. All I did understand, the only one who can damage Saitama is Saitama himself. Garo did nothing to Saitama without Saitama mode. I accept your concession. You admitted that Saitama took damage. Yeah, this is true. This isn't a stupid argument, but I'm going to read the comment anyway. Back then, I used to think that Saitama never took damage from Garo. However, when I watched your video a few months ago where you talked about it, I actually agree with you. Saitama did take damage from Garo by copying his stats, which is what I've been putting out this whole time. Yes, your attack is strong, but nowhere near enough to do damage, a.k.a. a scratch. You want to know why this argument is stupid? It's stupid because he literally admits that Garo scratched him. That's why your argument is stupid. Another stupid argument. Example, your strongest attack is 10,000. Damage, but this atomic defense is one billion. Yo, get this stupid shit up out of here. It's like a newborn baby punch prime Mike Tyson in the chest. Unless that newborn baby can literally copy Prime Mike Tyson's stats and sock him in the face, this is a stupid comparison. Scratch is still a scratch. It still didn't hurt him, though. That's, I wonder, consider it a damage. Anyways, I can't debate on YouTube because I can't send photos and proofs along with my comment. 
To damage somebody is to hurt them ever so slightly. No matter the level of damage, it's still damage. This isn't a stupid argument. He just told me something. Saitama, old man, I show off to the kid and I promise him that I won't get hurt. But look at me now. My Japanese friend told it to me. Source, I made it up. You can stick to whatever you want and I'll stick to whatever I feel is right. Boy, the factual information don't give a fuck about your feelings. Automatic concession. This is stupid. Saitama is a gag character, and you cannot disprove that. As for Saitama, I never argue whether he's a gag character or not. Get out my comment section. As for Saitama being damaged, I will not agree nor disagree. Then why the fuck are you here? Why the fuck are why the fuck are you here? You're wasting my time. You're you're wasting my time. Get out. Thank you, CJ, for the support. Saitama does take damage. It's not a 100%. It more of the damage done to him is so small that he can't feel even when he hits himself. This is because his durability I far greater than his strength, which are both consistently increasing. You just admitted he took damage. Get out. Hero mask. Oh, yeah, it's in the comment section. It's in the comment section. And, of course, this dude corrected his edits in his comments. Y'all can go ahead and read that. But the comments at the bottom is what really caught my attention. We almost there. We are almost there. If Saitama take damage, they will make it clear. It's it's really fucking clear, dude. You people are just beyond biased to where you can't freaking see it. It's already clear as hell in the manga. The anime is just overkill. Here we go. He's not. If you pay attention to what he's saying, his statement seems to focus more about his hero suit being messed up rather than explicitly admitting to taking damage. Now let's go back and pay attention to these scans. Since obviously I'm the one who's not paying attention. Tario's complaining. Saitama hears. Walks up and starts talking to Garo. Complains and tells Garo he doesn't want him hurting any more heroes. So, Saitama says, do you want to hit me? Go ahead. You scared? Of course not. Wham. Punches him in the fucking face. Completely fine. Completely fine. Don't worry, he can't scratch me. Proving that the context of the word scratch is referring to actual damage you motherfuckers must think I'm fucking stupid, you clown ass niggas. Because ain't no motherfucking way. This context is simple and to the point and easy to fucking understand. 
there is no 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 you, there is no mental gymnastics you can pull to dismiss this shit. It is too simple and straight fucking forward. Now let's go back and read your bullshit. He's not. If you pay attention to what he's saying, his statement seems to focus more about his hero suit being messed up rather than explicitly admitting to taking damage. Okay. During this conversation, there was no talk about the goddamn fucking suit. You stupid piece of fucking shit. There was no talk about the goddamn suit. Stop adding context that's not here. The fuck is wrong with you? Fast forward. He talks about his suit, but when his shit's fucked up, he, refer he refers to it as being ruined. This is how you... This is how you refer to your clothes when they get fucked like this. You don't say they were scratched, you dumb motherfucker. That, that, that's not how you refer to fucked up clothes. You see, they, they were fucked up. They were ruined. They're messed up. This, this isn't a scratch. He gets a taste of his own medicine with goggles and a fucking Saitama mode, you fucking clown. Look, look at the faces motherfuckers making. Swarms out. He's literally wiping his fucking nose. My nigga, you can see him coming out the water, holding his holding his nose, and when he gets to the top, he starts wiping his shit. Oh man, I told that kid I wouldn't get a scratch. You can see the smudge directly coming from his nose. And when he refers back to the conversation with Tario, he's literally referring back to the conversation that was literally about damage. Fuck nigga, you better not come back up in my comment section trying to deliberately, intentionally change the context so you can dismiss Saitama taking damage because I'm not going to entertain the bullshit whatsoever. Because at this point, you calling me stupid without actually calling me fucking stupid, you dumbass motherfucker. My, my tolerance is only so fucking much. And that shit's pretty much fucking gassed out. Oh man, I told that kid I wouldn't get a fucking scratch. This is the context he's referring to. He's referring back to the conversation he had with motherfucking Targo. Stop ignoring the correct goddamn context, bitch. Ain't no misinterpretation here. You're just a fucking moron. His statement seems to focus more about his hero suit being messed up rather than explicitly admitting to taking damage. Fuck, nigga. He's literally referring back to the conversation he had with Tario that was painfully obvious up in your face referring to damage. You're the reason why One Punch Man fans are a fucking joke. The amount, the, the, the level of mental gymnastics you're trying to pull here to, to, to trick yourself into believing that Saitama didn't take damage is beyond crazy. The fuck is wrong with you? The emphasis is on the state of the outfit and the fr frustration about it being ruined after making a promise to Tario about not getting scratched. Now you're sitting here replacing the actual context with your own made-up context. How original. Which would imply that he's more concerned about his suit rather than taking damage. If he did took damage, one of Murata would definitely focus on that. But that's not the case because it just his suit. The level of mental gymnastics here is outrageous. Also, we know Ho, he cares about his suit. Like when he got a big hole on his cape and was clearly bothered, almost getting caught in the fire from Geno's blast when they was both sparring. Yeah, and in that moment, he didn't refer to his suit being messed up as a scratch either. 
Saitama has never referred to his clothes being fucked as a scratch, you fucking moron. Let, let's, let, let's continue reading his mental gymnastics. I'm not being biased. That's exactly what a biased prick would say. I am perfectly fine for Saitama to take damage. No, the fuck you're not. But in the panel's context, it doesn't seem like Saitama is talking about taking damage. But he is. You're just stripping away the actual context. You you literally refuse to acknowledge the actual context of the conversation he had with Tario. All you've been trying to do is override it. By replacing it with your head cannon. Even though the term scratch may not be the most common way to describe clothes damage, because it's not a common way to describe your clothes to describe your clothes as being damaged when they're fucked to that degree, you moron. The important point is that the clothes are in fact damaged, regardless of the specific wording you oh, regardless of the specific wording used. You you, you see the bullshit here? Regarding Regardless of the specific words, you, oh my gosh, yo, I can't make this shit up. I can't make this shit up. While scratch is more commonly used to describe surfaces like glass or metal rather than fabric, people may still use it informally to convey damage to their clothes. Y'all go ahead and read my comments. I am not saying I won't get scratched doesn't always mean being physically damaged. Bro, are you stupid or are you stupid? Scratch in this context, Saitama is clearly talking about actual damage. Oh man, I told that kid I wouldn't get scratched. Don't hurt any more heroes. Saitama taunts. Hits him in the fucking face. Don't worry, he can't scratch me. Dog, it's like you're looking at the video and blatantly dismissing the context here. You're just flat out ignoring it. And you don't care that this is the actual context. You already made up in your mind that Saitama didn't take damage. So you will come up with any argument that you can think of, no matter how stupid it is and how much mental gymnastics you have to pull. You've made up your mind. So that's what you're going to stick with. Doesn't matter that the context of this conversation is blatantly talking about damage. Doesn't matter that Saitama made it clear that for the word scratched, he made it clear that it's referring to actual damage. Dude, he literally just got punched in the fucking face and said, don't worry, he can't scratch me. Even an elementary student would know that, oh, they're talking about actually being hurt. But here, your bias ass sitting here talking about some, oh, scratching this contest doesn't always mean physical damage. Nigga, is you stupid or are you stupid? If he arrived in front of Tario after getting hit with the nuclear fission, it would make the kid seem Saitama took damage, but it's just his suit that did. Look at this ridiculous bias shit. This is why... One Punch Man fans like you are a fucking joke. You're fucking pathetic. Wouldn't it make sense that Saitama himself would say that he's bleeding if he actually did to damage? No. The point of the conversation was to let Tario know that Garo couldn't even scratch him. The point of that was a scratch signifies minor fucking damage. That's what it means to be scratched. It signifies minor fucking damage, you moron. If he actually did to damage, and it'll show us 
He's all, it's already being shown. You're just so delusionally biased that you're just overlooking that shit. Y'all can read my comment. Go ahead. No, I'm not, dude. People can easily mistake in what's going on in the panels, and you're one of them. Fuck, nigga, get out my comment section. Because you just called me stupid. They will have focus on Saitama taking physical damage if that was the case, but he's not. You're the one that's overriding the correct context. It's situations like this where people get on my nerve to such a degree over the internet that if we was arguing face to face in public, bro, a fight would have fucking broke out because ain't no way somebody's this fucking stupid and biased. I'm going to say this shit now. I hate stupid people. I fucking hate stupid people. Somebody, you ever talk to somebody who's so fucking stupid that it irritates you to such a degree that you just want to fucking throw hands? Just know it. Fuck this argument. We throwing hands because ain't no way you this fucking stupid and you walk around living your fucking life. Boy, boy, ain't no, boy, ain't no fucking way. Boy, ain't no fucking way. Bo- boy, ain't no fucking way. Boy, boy, ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking boy. Hey, boo. boy, ain't no fucking way. Bro, it's been years since I fought any fucking body. Bro, the last time I got into a fight, I was seventeen years fucking old. I'm twenty five now. Boy, ain't no fucking. I am not using head cannons. Says the guy who's using head cannon. Saitama can be talking about actual damage to Tario, but it's clear as day that he himself wasn't worried about that at all. You can literally see the fresh. Where did I leave off? Saitama can be talking about actual damage to Tario, but it's clear as day that he himself wasn't worried about that at all. You can literally see the frustration on his face because his suit was ruined. Please do tell me what head cannons am I using. Yo, get the fuck out my comment section. Get your dumb ass out my fucking comment section, bro. You can't argue with stupid people because they bring you down to their fucking level. Boy, ain't no fucking way. Yo, from this day forward, anybody coming in my comment section running with head cannon of any kind, you just gonna get blocked. It doesn't even have to be pertaining about Saitama taking damage. You just getting blocked. Because it ain't no fucking way. And this shit right here, bro, scratch is different from a punch. Punch is more powerful than a scratch. Then I scrolled down and I realized this motherfucker's comments long. I'm not reading all that. Fuck you. Not reading all that doesn't, don't waste my time. The point was Saitama confirmed he took damage. Y'all can read his shit if y'all want to. I don't give a fuck. Now let's go to the comments. I screenshot the shit. Boy, here we go. He can't scratch me. It's just an insult. My guy, he literally punched him in the face and said he can't scratch me. After Tario complained that he didn't want Gar or her to get any more heroes. It ain't just no insult. It's confirming that he's talking about actual damage. Also, it's the English translation. Bring up the original one. Bitch, do it look like I can read Japanese? So I need to read this shit in English. Saitama has shown never any signs of damage, even after Cosmic Garo. Saitama literally confirmed that Garo damaged him his goddamn self. What the fuck are we talking about? His body was clean and perfect, and I pointed out how that was inconsistent as fuck. Because in the beginning, this man was covered in scratches and dirt and all that good shit. But magically... When the fight was ended, he ain't have shit on him, not even dirt. 
Now tell me how that's not inconsistency with the drawings. Or that, or the stronger he became, the more he healed up. Something's going on there. But this man was obviously covered in dirt and scratches and all that good shit. So once again, just a bait video to trigger some One Punch Man meat riders. Fuck nigga, this argument was stupid. You should be thrown off a bridge. Sorry, not sorry. Little extreme? Yeah, I know. I hate stupid people. Head cannon and overinterpretation. You could make the same video about Geno's being homosexual with the same logic of context you use. Nice bait, though. Another terrible garbage ass fucking argument. Get your dumb ass out of my comment section. Oh, when, where, bitch, you clearly ain't watched the video. Get out. If you take everything out of context, you will end up with videos like this. But good luck with the five people who agree with you. Countless people already believe that Saitama took damage. Nice try, though, moron. And I didn't take this shit out of context. Yo ass did. You're over-interpreting their meaning. That's all there is to it. It is still unclear whether Saitama can be injured. Over-interpreting. Getting hit in the face and saying he can't scratch me is an over-interpretation? That's what that is? You sound stupid. It is still unclear whether Saitama can be injured. It's very clear that he can be injured. The motherfucker literally confirmed he took damage. Like, the fuck? All we know so far is that he has never been injured. False, nigga. He literally confirmed that he took damage, moron. Stop trying to override Saitama's confirmation with your biased-ass head cannon. Soon you may have the answer you are looking for. I already got the answer. Y'all can read my comments. He never admitted to taking damage in this scenario. Yes, the fuck he did. He is even shown to take no damage. You can literally see him wiping his nose and that smudge directly coming from his fucking nostril. It's showing that he took damage. You can't ignore it based on your head cannon. I don't like using head cannon. I'm one of the most unbiased One Punch Man fans who's going to keep it real on this fucking platform. Fuck out of here. If Cobbs and Gar wasn't able to damage him, yes, Cobbs and Gar was able to damage him. How can Matsugaro do it? I never said Matsugaro can damage him, clown. I get it. Some weird One Punch Man meat writers hurt your pride. You lame-ass niggas can never hurt my pride. You can only annoy the fuck out of me for being so stupid. I'm irritated. I'm annoyed because y'all so stupid. The amount of bias energy that's coming from y'all is fucking immeasurable. What is this garbage? But that's no reason to act like this. Shut your dumb ass up. Stupid people like you make me act like this. The fuck out of here. You can't be, you can't talk nice to clowns like you. In the upcoming arc, we might finally see if Saitama gets damaged or not. He's all, he already been damaged, moron. Based on Empty Void's buildup, his power are supposed to ignore durability and distance completely. Even if Saitama can take damage, then he just assumes it. But you, you see the stupid shit here? Huh? Even if Saitama can take damage, then he just assumes it. This man already made up in his mind that Saitama is made not to take damage. This is the bias shit I'm talking about. He never faced anybody to damage him. Console, Cosmic God oh, damaged him. After all, why shouldn't he? He didn't even know he can survive in space. What does surviving in space have to do with taking damage? There is no relevance here. Y'all can read my shit. 
Not sure if my comment is still here. I can't see my new response, so I won't post it twice. Good, don't. But you seriously need to stop wasting your time with these videos like this. Fuck nigga, I make any video I want on my channel. Especially if you can't argue and start insulting everybody below your, your video because y'all fucking stupid. Y'all deserve to be fucking insulted. Y'all you, you, stupidity and biased garbage makes people mad. You expect somebody to talk to you nice when you're this fucking stupid, delusional, and biased? Bitch, my patience ran out a long time ago. Fuck off about here. At first, I wasn't even against you. I disagree with your video. Of course your biased ass is going to disagree with my video. But I also hate opium meat writers. Yet your only escape was to insult me as an One Punch Man fan, which makes no sense at all. Fuck, nigga. You suck. Get out my comment section. Y'all go ahead and read my comment. Yeah, this video just appeared randomly for me, and I was curious. But I guess I know why no one finds this channel. People don't follow my channel. Well, a lots of people used to follow my channel. But the moment I started deleting, block, and from the beginning, I never cared about viewers and all that good shit. I have a no bullshit policy over here. And my block button is quick. So people still do find my shit. It's just that I block the vast majority of them. Why you think the, my, my comment section ain't full of bullshit like this? And I'm going to keep on exposing the super, the, the, the stupid arguments that One Punch Man fans throw out there. The biased nature that One Punch Man fans have. This is just one of the first of many. I'm usually exposing and debunking One Punch Man down players and haters and all that good shit, but I'm including One Punch Man fans now because this shit ain't it. It doesn't feel bad losing an argument. Thank you for your automatic concession against some random dude on YouTube who acts like a butt-hurt 12-year-old. I can completely live with that. Sure you can. And with this, goodbye until you learn something new in the New York. Fuck, nigga. You ain't gonna be coming back with this account. You're gonna have to create a whole new other account. And that shit's gonna get blocked, too, if you come with the foolishness. context is way too simple to understand dude but yet y'all sit here and try to override it he doesn't want girl or her to get it dude i shouldn't even have been making videos centered around this shit this shit should be cut and dry and obvious but you people want to believe so bad to y'all court that saitama didn't take damage the amount of mental gymnastics y'all are pulling is unreal to the point to where it makes you believe something is truly wrong with y'all mentally. Because there ain't no fucking way. Don't hurt any more heroes. It's like y'all, if y'all do watch the video, everything I'm going that I'm saying is going through one ear and out the other. And since y'all don't agree with the actual context that's here, y'all are making up your own shit and running with it. That's literally what y'all doing. This shit is cut and fucking dry. Then you, you shouldn't even need to be fucking convinced. The fuck is wrong with you people? Don't hurt any more heroes. Saitama hears it. Talks him into fucking handling him. He hits him in the fucking face. Completely fine. It says, don't worry, he can't scratch me. Nigga, Saitama clearly made it. Clear as day that he's referring to actual damage here. Like, there's no interpretation being needed here. Like, what the fuck? Bro, the next person who come up in my comment section trying to argue that Saitama didn't take damage, I I'm just going to label you as mental. I'm just going to label you as mental. 
and and based off of that, I'm I'm just I'm just gonna look at you as your reading comprehension ain't up to snuff. It's awful, and you need to go back to school to learn better reading comprehension. Let's talk. Let's toss over there. Saitama talks about his clothes being ruined, but he doesn't bring Ontario because at this point in time, he didn't take any damage. He's not referring to his clothes being ruined as a scratch. Gets a taste of his own medicine. He's wiping his nose. You can see that smudge directly coming from his nostril. It ain't just sitting under his nose. It's directly coming from his fucking nostril. And then he says, oh, man, I told that kid I wouldn't get a scratch. By him saying, I told that kid I wouldn't get a scratch, he's letting you know that he's referring back to this conversation. Don't worry, he can't scratch me. The same conversation where Tario said, oh, he doesn't want Garo hurting any more heroes. The same conversation where he taunted Saitama to hit him in the face. And he did. And he's fine. And then he said, don't worry, he can't scratch me. He made it blatantly clear. So for people to come up in my comment section and argue that he didn't take damage, you're literally admitting to disregarding the actual conversation here. You're literally admitting to dismissing the actual context here. You're literally admitting to replacing... The, that conversation that Saitama referred back to with head cannon. Oh, he's not talking about actual damage. He's referring to his clothes. If you look closely, fuck nigga. If you look closely, you can see him wiping his nose and you see a fucking smudge mark coming directly from his nose. That's what the fuck you see if you look closely. And then you see him state, oh man, I told that kid I wouldn't get a scratch. Kazengaro is the first opponent that's able to do real damage since Saitama removed his limiter. So be it it being a scratch, Saitama is still confirming that he took damage. The fuck is wrong with you people? Something seriously ill with you guys. And I'm going to keep exposing the stupid arguments that y'all present. Leave your comments in the comment section so I can expose you.